A lot of times when I post pictures on Facebook, um, selfies, me just sitting on the couch or whatever, sometimes I'm not even at home, I just, I just take a selfie. Um, people ask the question, are you stoned? <laughs> and I, no, <laughs> I've never been stoned on purpose. On purpose. This one time in college, I, was like, I like to start at stories like that because it, they're funny. Um, but usually, what comes next is kind of a, a lie, kind of made up, kind of, but just, this is totally honest, and it's innocent, it's just, it's, it is funny, I think, um, okay, see, this one time in college, I was, um, I was the editor of the first annual literary magazine, uh, at my school, this entailed, um, not only reading and editing together, uh, poetry and stories and pictures and stuff, I had to get submissions. So to get submissions, we made posters. So there was probably f five or six of us um, in this office. We closed the door. Uh, we had our magic markers. And we made posters. After a couple hours, the fumes really got to us. And I, we were all high. I mean, it, we were. Which was which was funny because this was an academic thing. I So I thought it was funny when we were like, uh, you know, we were all like... <laughs> High off magic marker fumes. But um bump that's that's the story. I supposed to laugh because I'm I'm an innocent dude. I don't do illicit drugs at all. Um, but people think I have. They've people people have always thought that I have and I I don't do a lot to dissuade them actually. I I think it's it's kind of a fun reputation to have. Um sometimes. But Okay, here's here's the story of something I did to further that reputation. I mean, there there are other things like, huh, yeah, uh, posing as a as a dealer <laughs> was was that was one. But um, okay, this one time it was like ten years ago. I don't know, almost ten years ago. So I I need to do it again. But I was getting this uh, this medical procedure done. Guys in their Late twenties don't usually have it. It's kind of a of a personal nature, and I, I okay. It was it was a um, a colonoscopy. I don't like to tell people about that because it's just like ugh, young guys aren't supposed to get it. Plus, it's talking about my bunghole. I mean, they they stuck the camera up my butt and like took pictures to see if I had polyps, which uh, okay. I don't know if it was supposed to happen, but I fell asleep. Um... And my my wife watched watched the procedure, which I thought was kind of, it's kind of weird actually. But but my wife and I are really close, really. And um, anyway, when I went back to work the next day, nobody knew about uh, what I was getting done except for my supervisor and uh, her boss, Be because I had to have an excuse of why I was missing work in the middle of the work week. Um, so when I when I showed up. They, she, she was like, um, well, how did it go? And he said, I like the drugs. Uh, that's okay. That's not probably the response. But I like the drugs was what I said. I mean, doesn't really respond probably to the to the question the way she expected. But yeah, they were they were good drugs. Um, because I don't remember anything that happened. I mean. I don't remember. Apparently, now, now my wife told me that I I was pretty goofy. I, it was, whoa! I really was out of it before I fell asleep. I was like crazy goofy, um, but I don't remember. And even after the procedure, when I when I, when we were leaving the room, I was awake and getting on the elevator. I was I was kind of um, acting high, I guess, because I was like, whoa! Did I fart? You know, I was like. <laughs> Okay, those are two of my drug stories that that aren't really drug stories. I've never done illicit drugs or illegal drugs. When I started drinking, it was illegal because I was underage. Um, yeah, that's that's not a great example, but that was illegal, and alcohol is a drug. I mean, it's it's legal for some people, but not legal for me. I mean, you know, I was. 18, and, um, I was drunk a lot, and I, I, I gave it up, 
Um, about 10 years ago. Sure. Sure. I, I made myself sick, but I, I think it was kind of psychosomatic that one drink would make me sick because I was feeling so guilty about getting drunk to get drunk. It was just like, someone had, had anonymously stuck a bunch of uh, pamphlets under my door in college about alcoholism because I had this tendency of drinking by myself and drinking in the morning. Um, I wasn't um, missing classes. I got good grades the first two years of college. I mean, A's and B's. Um, so I was getting good grades. I was going to class. Um, whenever I did get a job, which I didn't reverse, I didn't miss work because of drinking. Um, so it wasn't really bad, but I was borderline alcoholic because I would drink by myself and I wasn't hanging out with my friends anymore. The people who were my friends the first, um, half of first semester weren't my friends second half of first semester. And after, after that, I didn't hang out with them as much and I had to, okay, so it was borderline alcoholic and that's. I think that's illegal drugs, because I, I wasn't 21 yet, but it, it's not really legal, so it's probably not a good story, um, but I'm, I'm glad I, I stopped when I did, um, I haven't, I haven't had an alcoholic beverage in like 10 years, that's, um, that's all I have to say about that.